comes to the only transforming arena in the world and 26 meter high vocal fountains in the National Circus of Ukraine. And the best circus show among fantastic rays and rainbow colored water patterns, enchanting music and explosive fire flames. If you want to see and enjoy a spectacular light and music show, we recommend you watch this special issue of the program Pro Art right now. Lyudmila Shevchenko generates ideas. All artists work with water, light and sound in the fountains. It's a new special effect that was not previously presented in the circus. Key viewers are very appreciative. It's funny to see aged people waving their hands with a big smile on their faces. I'm a comedian, so I amuse the audience. If I were a spectator, that I would get not bored from watching the spectacle. This is not the first time I have visited this beautiful city. I very like this team. I feel at home as an artist of the National Circus. The Circus on Water format has long existed in the world. But this show with fountains in the National Circus of Ukraine is a bold and risky application of know-how of highly technical and artistic parameters. This program is very different from all the previous ones. It focuses on transformation of the water surface. General Director and People's Artist of the USSR and Ukraine, Lyudmila Shevchenko, came up with this brilliant idea. She decided to take a risk of bringing such sophisticated state-of-the-art equipment from Hungary. The Budapest Circus helped us bring and adapt this equipment to this particular program and the stage in which it would be performed. As Deputy General Director of the National Circus of Ukraine, Marina Novoselova said, this unique equipment gave the Ukrainian audience a chance to enjoy a fantastically colorful, amazing and unforgettable international creative show. All the more, there were more than 100 tons of water used to lower the platforms and allow the fountains to spray out these wonderful cascades of water. Yuri Bazanov is the engineer of this stage. Now he is involved in planning the design of the next stage with large segments. I am a developer. This project is unique in the former Soviet Union and in Europe. We independently developed this project over a period of six months. Transforming an arena gives us the opportunity to work in different genres, with or without water, and we also use animals in the show. Authors of the giant fountain show departed from traditional standards used in a circus arena. The main feature of this particular show is a combination of the show with the use of powerful water jets that propel the water in from the fountains. This makes the show more colorful, though at the same time more difficult for artists. We lower a stage under the water and small ponies appear there, running through the water. It's very colorful and beautiful. There are also bears and dogs. Coyote is a predatory exotic animal of character. It likes to eat tasty food and thrash around in the shallow water of jungles. Given this fact, the use of water in the arena is a common thing and a natural habitat for such artists. It's easy for Cody, but hard for me. I slid on the puddle of water several times while following them. They work the way they live in nature. At night they sleep in families on tree branches. In the daytime they hunt and find food in shallow waters. For this very reason, here in the arena the water is shallow. After all, this is what they adapted to in nature. Mikolaev trainer Angela Tankopi has a full understanding and synergy with her big-nosed artist. Her secret is proper upbringing and tender, loving care of these furry members of the animal kingdom. You should go to the animals only in good spirit. They feel everything. Living with me, they consider me the most important being in their life. They love me, they go with me everywhere. They first of all go with me for run, for entertainment. The Kyiv Circus Arena became the favorite venue for all the artists. But such an innovation as water under the feet is not applied in every program. 
This especially pertains to those who are trapeze artists or equilibrists on moving rollers. It has the same dome as other circuses. It's very good and comfortable for hanging. But there were noisy fountains, a lot of lighting and new decor. So visually we had to get used to this in rehearsals in order to perform well during the grand show. Each act required difficult adaptation because firstly it is performed in water, secondly the artists are splashed by water shooting out from the fountains, thirdly we designed special shoes for them. Water is dangerous for my act because it interferes with it, but we developed special shoes for this aquatic show so that we could perform without any risk of injury or other problems. It's our famous Ukrainian equilibrist. We could hardly pull him out of his tour to convince him to come and perform in this fantastic show. I practically do not work in Ukraine. Poland, Germany, France, the US, the UK, Russia, Ukraine, Malaysia and the United Arab Emirates. Any artist envies the geography of performances of circus artists. If we had stable work in our homeland, many of us artists wouldn't go abroad. We travel all around the world, but we have the chance to shift from one team to another. I am a Ukrainian from the city of Pavlohrad in the Dnipropetrovsk oblast. At the moment we have put together this team and have been working for a year. There were not only trapeze artists that flew under a dome, but even capuchin monkeys and baboons on dirigibles, just like the French writer Jules Verne described in his famous novel The Mysterious Island. A female monkey is mega hyperactive. We saw her in a dirigible, but she was restless as it was difficult for her. So we chose another male monkey that turned out to be more patient. Belarusian Andrei Tepligin boasts the mind and talent of his disciples. He considers himself very lucky to have the opportunity to work with the smartest primates. After all, monkeys are animals, of course, but they're very intelligent. For this reason, I speak with them all the time. Just take a look for yourself. We spend a lot of time together. They grow up with us and we make contact with them. And we simply understand each other without having to communicate in words. Here's the fabulous wagon with the winged artists of Ksenia Lahorska. Decorative doves, peacocks with lace tails immediately won the hearts of many Kyiv residents, who got the chance to witness their amazing synchronized flights and unique tricks. My training sessions are based solely on contact with these birds. Indeed, I talk to the pigeons as if they are people. I can whistle to them and sometimes they hear my whistle that orients them to fly in a certain direction. Our work is based on hard work on a daily basis. From morning till night, you are in love and in touch with these wonderful flying creatures. So it is no wonder that this circus arena is their home. It's not easy to agree with birds as it is, for example, with a dog or a monkey. I believe that if a bird cannot pull off a trick, then it's my fault. I must be doing something wrong. For example, I forgot to give my hand to send a signal to a pigeon to land and it ended up looking for the right seat and did not fly in the right direction. All artists of the show came from different cities and countries. This is truly an international team that unites and works hard and strives to change the whole world for the better. It's my second time here, so it was great to come here and meet and see old friends and make new friends after eight years.
I came from Kharkiv. I have toured quite a lot and after all, I am very happy and satisfied working in Ukraine and not only abroad. I also came from Kharkiv. I'm very glad to visit Ukraine and the National Circus of Ukraine in Kiev. I always had a dream of working and studying in Kiev. And now I have an opportunity to live here and show my talent to Kiev spectators. This wonderful program unites people around the whole world. We invited the best representatives of this form of art from different countries. Valery Serebrakov is a hereditary artist with extensive experience in the circus. He is sure that having talent and desire it's quite realistic for artists to perform their acts and promote them on the international arena. Everything is possible. It depends on distributors and organizers. One day they found me in Las Vegas. I was interested to visit Ukraine because I had not stepped foot on my native land for many years. I've lived in the US for over 20 years, but I strive for creativity, inspiration and so on. And here one can get enough of it. All you want reigns here in Ukraine. In short, Valery also had to change his form of entertainment between acts and recall them in some places. I'm a circus child of the third generation. My father taught me. I always worry about my work. It's hard because the audience is constantly different. And as a performer, you also have to be different to captivate the audience. There is such a term timing used in show business in the US, which entails holding a pause that is very important for any comedian or clown. The Kyiv Circus has its own special atmosphere and this is a very important attribute. The circus team quickly found a common ground between one another and united not only on the arena, but also on the surface of the capricious water platform. It's not difficult, because a circus is one large family, and it does not matter at all who came from which country. We do not perform belly paws, though we are given enough space to dance. As for performing under fountains, it is totally possible and not too difficult to quickly adapt to them. Here I'm performing on a ball, and honestly speaking, sometimes I'm afraid to fall off it. Everything is provided here. We heat the water so that our artists will not fall ill. Heating is our main concern for the health of our artists. When I come out for the show, I see many people and I do my job that I love. I get a huge adrenaline surge and feel the energy from people in the audience who thoroughly enjoy our work. The circus is brilliant and unpredictable. Every time artists are worried, because the stages, cities and audiences are constantly changing. Both children and adults all over the world get a huge thrill from circus acts. And we should always adapt each show not only to the stage, but also to the viewing audience. Every city in the world has its viewers, and this adaptation of the show does not put a stop to the creative impulse of the artists and the audience. The show is great, as it offers the audience interesting and spectacular acts. We're also very interested in the fountains. We look at them from the viewpoint of spectators. The show looks different when it's in the water. Fountains make it spectacular. It's a kind of addition that provides the show half of its charm and success. It's good that people attend the circus. It's always a full house here. People give standing ovations. And this is very cool and much appreciated. Six platforms go underwater and then they rise up over the surface. There is no such thing anywhere in the world. 
So I think that the water show is more fascinating for people than circus art. The arena is transformed from a dry carpet to a swimming pool. Hundreds of small air jets shoot out two tons of water to a height of 18 meters, and modern laser devices illuminate the pool with billions of twinkling lights, just like on a beautiful Christmas tree. So one can rest assured that this great circus event will give all visitors unforgettable impressions for the entire year.